Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at matrices and just really an introduction to matrices. So matrix is just thought to be an array of numbers or a collection of numbers set out in a table. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. How you describe the shape of the matrix is very important and understanding what that means is very important. So the dimensions or the other way of saying this is or the order of a matrix is given by the number of rows by the number of columns. And so an n by n matrix has n rows and n columns. Very important we understand this as it has certain properties later on. A matrix is usually denoted by a capital letter, so A, capital A, capital B, capital C, etc. First example is dead easy, it's just give the dimensions of these matrices. You can see the first one is a 2 by 2, it's two rows, two columns. The second one is a 1 by 3, it's one row, three columns. It's a 2 by 1, it's two rows, one column. And it's a 3 by 2, as three rows, two columns. You can only add or subtract matrices if they have the same dimensions or, as we said earlier on, order. So here we have a 2 by 2 plus a 2 by 2, so absolutely fine. And each one of these uh, numbers in here is called an element. So this is the element in the first row, first column, added to the element in the first row, first column over here, gives you this resulting element. Likewise, in the second one, this is a subtraction example. And I'll just pick this middle one. So minus 3, minus 2 gives you minus 5. That easy. So next thing is to multiply a matrix by a number. So a number, another word for a number is just a scalar. You simply multiply each element in the matrix by that number. So here in the first one, you've got A is equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 0. And we want to find 2A. So every element in A gets multiplied by 2. And you say I've just said 2A is equal to 2 upon matrix which gives you 2 4 minus 2 and 0 and example b it's a half b b is a row matrix or a row vector you could call that so a half times the 6 is 3 half times 0 is 0 and half times the, the minus 4 is minus 2 that's not very clear but that is a minus 2. multiply matrices so to multiply a matrix uh, to multiply matrices together first of all they have to be conformable so uh, another word for conformable is compatible and they're only compatible if the following thing happens. So here, if you, you look at the order of these matrices, uh, I've got a, a two by three matrix, and the number, the number of columns in the first matrix has to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for them to be compatible. If they are compatible, uh, so you, that's your compatibility check, you've done that, they're fine, then the resulting matrix is, and the resulting matrix will be the outside um, orders n of the matrix, so 2 and 5. You can see the resulting thing is 2 and 5. Likewise, over here, I've already done the compatibility check, so it was 3 and 3, and the order of the resulting matrix is going to be 1 by 1, and you can see that's how we get this. So a bit of a strange one here. You've got a row matrix or a row vector multiplied by a column matrix or a column vector, and the result is a 1 by 1. So what a 1 by 1 is, is just a number. So something with quite a lot of mathematical information has been reduced to just a scalar. Okay, how we, we can read through that in your own time, but how we, we're going to look at two examples and the important thing we're going to show here is that matrix multiplication is not, whoop, matrix multiplication is not commutative. So that means A times B is not necessarily equal to B times A. There are times it can be, but generally it will not, they will not be the same. So we've got two matrices here. You've got A, which is minus 1, 0, and 2, 3, and then B, which is 4, 1, and 0, minus 2. <clears throat> so how we talk about, uh, I've got minus 4 here is my first, first row, first column element. How you say that is very important. So don't say that's my top left element. It's your first row, first column, uh, because how you get that is by multiplying the first row by the first column. So what I mean by that, you do minus 1 times 4, which is minus 4, and then 0 times 0, which is 0, and you add the two of those. So minus 4 plus 0 is minus 4. Done. The next uh, the next one then we want to do, we'll do this one, and this one is first row, second column, which means you do your first row times your second column. Not too clear, but that's a minus 2 there. So minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. 0 times minus 2 is 0. Minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1. So that's that done. Two more to go here. Uh, this is my second row, first column. So I multiply my second row 
by my first column. So 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 0 is 0, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 0 is just going to be 8. And that's it. And the last one for us to do, we have got this minus 4. So where it is, it's a minus, sorry, it is a second row, second column, second row, second column. 2 times a 1 is 2, 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, 2 minus 6 gives you the minus 4. So that's where we have got those four numbers. Now if you do the same, uh, you will see uh, over here, B times A when you multiply it out. I'm not going to go through that whole process, but when you do multiply it out, you get the same thing. So you, sorry, you don't get the same thing at all. You get It's the same process, but you get a different matrix. So we have shown that AB is not the same as BA. So order does matter. So different than normal numerical multiplication where order doesn't matter. So like 6 times 7 is the same as 7 times 6. Here in matrices, it generally does matter. <clears throat> okay, next thing is your identity matrix. Identity, the identity matrix is very, very important. The identity multiplying by the identity matrix is equivalent to numerically multiplying by 1. So here, if you multiplied a 2 by 2 matrix by 1, 0, 0, 1, it would be unchanged. Likewise, if you multiply a 3 by 3 matrix by this, uh, the matrix would be unchanged. So very important here, uh, it says, if you, if you do A times I, it's the same as I times A, it just gives you A. So multiplying a matrix by I is a bit like multiplying a number by 1. You can see my I can change. It's always going to be a square matrix. But it could be 2 by 2, it could be 3 by 3, it could be 4 by 4. So it depends, it's whatever size it needs to be. So if you're multiplying by 2 by 2, you'll be multiplying by this one. Multiplying by 3 by 3, you'll be multiplying this one. Okay, I this there's nothing mathematically wrong with any of this. I just, it's not the way I have ever learned it. So to do an inverse of a 2 by 2, you swap the elements in the leading diagonal, then you change the sign of the other elements, and then you divide by the determinant. And just what the determinant is, the determinant is a product of the elements in the leading diagonal minus a product of the elements in the other diagonal. A very important bit, bit here is this word singular. So if the singular means that the determinant is zero, so and it works both ways. If the determinant is zero, then there's no inverse, or if there's no inverse, then the determinant is zero. But you need to know and understand what that word means because it could well say in a question a singular matrix is such that and then you need to know that that implies that the determinant is zero and also that there's no inverse you must learn that okay next thing is transpose very very easy um, uh, transpose basically you take the rows and the columns and you switch them around so here you've got your a matrix and a with the t up in there that means your a transpose so that's your original a uh, my rows and my columns and just clearly switch around and, and that is that is it and if a is equal to t then a is uh, a symmetric matrix let's just go back and look at the most common symmetric matrix uh, this one and if you look at this symmetric matrix uh, i is a symmetric matrix because you can see the leading diagonal the elements uh, or just pair up off the leading diagonal and you can see in that one maybe a wee bit clear that zero goes to here that zero goes to here and that zero goes to here so yeah, it's just symmetrical about your leading diagonal lovely okay right on to our last thing uh, for this we're going to look at how we use uh, the matrix method to solve simultaneous equations so again obviously you can solve this just your normal simultaneous equations method but if they ask you if they use an inverse matrix method uh, you have to do it you'll get no marks for solving it any other way so you can rewrite this equation as uh, 4 minus 1 minus 2 3 upon a column vector x y is equal to 1 12 and we've called that equation 1 i'll refer back to that then you say let a equal whatever this matrix was now what we're going to do is find the inverse of this so first thing of finding the inverse, I'll find the determinant. The determinant, the determinant is a product of the leading diagonal minus the product of the other diagonal. So 12 minus 2, which is 10. And then your inverse, 1 over your determinant, and then swap the elements in the leading diagonal. So the 4 and the 3 swap around, and that 1 and the 2, they change sign to become minus 1 and minus 2. Right, our equation 1, let's have a look at it again. We could rewrite that, and that really could just become a so that we could uh, change that to just be our matrix a so that's what we've done down here 
So our equation one, where are we? Equation one becomes a times x y is equal to one twelve. Now this just saves you a lot of time writing out the matrices when you write it this way. So if we put the inverse of a in front of the a on the left hand side of the equation, we must put the inverse of a on uh, in front of whatever we have on the right hand side of the equation. So the position of inverse of a is important. So it's in front here on the left hand side and it's in front here on the right hand side. Why that's important is, is that um, the order of matrix, matrix multiplication is important. But just think about it as being what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So here I put the inverse of a on the left in front on the left hand side. So we'll do the same on the right hand side. So I put the inverse of a on front on the right hand side. Uh, okay, um, remember inverse of a times a just gives you your identity. So the identity times anything, we said the ident multiplying by identity is equivalent of multiplying by one. So i times xy just gives you xy. Then we will now at this stage we will rewrite our inverse of a, which was one over ten times three one two four one twelve, and I've just done the three one two four times the one twelve, which gives me column vector fifteen fifty, and then multiply by the one tenth gives me one point five and five. So x equals 1.5 and y equals 5 and just tidy it up and write that out as x is, x is equal to 1.5 y is equal to 5. All right thank you very much. Okay so you're now ready to do the questions on the question booklet, matrices question booklet. It's exercise 6a questions 4 then questions 6 to 10 so if you have any problems at all with that please get in touch and I will be able to give you a hand. Thank you.